Well, welcome to a uh, another a look at a, what's our new map. This is a, this is an old map. <laughs> this is actually Rivers who built the same as uh, Newbie was on uh, Seventeen by Cavalier Roy. This is work in progress, very much so. And this is slated for release when or oh, just after Seasons comes out. So this is going to be built for seasons. So we'll just have a quick look around what he's done. Well, he's still got the, got the house you start with now, but it's in the correct position for a new Beyond 17. You will have seen a lot of new Beyond 17 if you've been watching my uh, co uh, my challenge series. Uh, and the animal paddocks or areas have now been built in that these are not the uh, placeables. Roy has uh, decided to make it look a bit more organic, I think the word we should be looking for. And you've got your BGA there, which is the old BGA, but as you've got a lovely sheen on it. Oh dear. And you've got your... Hold on, I think I've got... I forgot there was missing now. Oh, come on, I'm just not showing them. This is a... Oh, yes, it is. Uh, it's right at the bottom there. My, my fault, I couldn't see for looking. This is the bunker, of course, built to the same standard and dimensions as on uh, Newbie. Now, some of these triggers are not working on this version. This is very much give, uh, given to me by Roy to have a look at. And I have had a look at and I like. As you see the water plane's a bit out there, but this is very much work in progress. I think May pulls a lot further advanced than River Food, but I think we've got time before uh, Seasons comes out, because I, I don't think it's an easy job changing things around to put on to uh, 19. And around here we have the edge of it. There's no gates or anything at, at present. I think I think one of the problems is the, I don't think the scripts for the triggers is released pro, uh, as yet. The only ones you've got are the ones that are built in on the placeables. But around here we've got the sa same things we had for. This has been changed a bit. There was long and thin along. All along this edge, the uh, slurry tank is now a modern slurry tank. You muck a uh, holder here where all your muck goes into from your coves because there's a cow pasture. The water's been moved to the outside now, as we saw up there, so all your feeding's done through. Oh. Let's have a look through here. Say so, no gates at the moment, so uh, don't expect anything too much. And you've got a ton of equipment on it. This is on, because on the stop and scratch or farm manager mode, it's the same as it was. There's nothing built in at all. You have to build it all yourself. But uh, on this mode, your new farmer mode, everything's built in, but it's built in as it was. And this is your tip. Now you have to be careful. Now you can only actually get small tippers in here. A good one, a good try to use is the belt, either the moving uh, bulkhead or the belt uh, discharge. Or if you're American, because you don't see many up in this country, but uh, in America, because the belly just discharge uh, tracks work very well on this. Your workshop. And I should imagine this is all to be tidied up here and here. So this is very much work in progress. You have a lime tank. But let's just have a quick look at the equipment they think they've given you for a start of. And I get ready for this. I think he's done this on the latest uh, release river. But I don't, I haven't played on easy mode, so I don't know. Well, I say easy, it's no longer easy because you can uh, set the economy up to being difficult, which. I have done on one or two playthroughs I've got. 
Yeah, you see, you've got all these tractors. I'm not going to run through them all. You've got a combine, you've got a uh, mower, crown mower, telehandler, trailer. Now, this is the one which will work in there fine, the bandit, because it's, a, you can see, it's a belt uh, discharge. That belt moves around and dis it pulls the product to the back where it uh, tips out. And you've got all your of course, then your combine is, of course, the Rosselmack, uh, the larger two Rosselmacks. Now, that's a lovely combine, especially with the header, new header trailer needed. You've got all this gear, and it goes on and on and on with gear. I don't think there's anything, if you play it on new farmer mode, you're going to want. I think you're going to have everything here. I can't think of much he's missed. You've got a square bale and square bale wrapper. You've got all your, you've got your straw blower. Water tank, you've got all your tools for your front loader and your uh, te uh, telehandler. All these can be sold. They're, they are standard, so if you sell them, you can always get them back again. Larger uh, grain silo. So I don't know how that works in here. Let's have a look. This is your grain silo. So has he actually remodeled it? You know, I don't honestly know. I'm not going to take it out to find out. And up here, cows and chickens down there. Up here are your sheep. Your sheep pen. This, let's say this is only going to be a quick look round, about ten minutes, quarter and a half. Then we have a quick look at uh, my floor, which is going. Uh, my floor, my my pole again is very much work in progress. I haven't got the latest version of either map, but uh, I think my pole is a lot further fast. This is, as I said, this is not playable yet. There's still a lot of triggers not working. Now this, which was a large uh, placeable area, he's changed this to uh, forestry, which I don't think is bad, actually. If you like forestry and you've got forestry equipment here, you might as well uh, have a go at it. But you see you've got your bales, and I'm wondering if Roy is thinking about giving us some cows to start with. I don't think he has, so I didn't know it was any... No. And it says you've got no pens or animals yet, ignore that. At the, as I said, this is very much work in progress. And Roy has gave me full permission to show this off. So let's have a quick look at the map. Now that's... And you can see the fields you start with. Right, let's see we get ready to go through this lot. 5, 6, 4, 9, 10, 11, 7, 8, 16, 18, 44, 45, 47 and if someone shouts house now I will crown them I think that's it and you're also on let's have a look at this also on the areas that your farm is built on so you own a hell of a lot of stuff go back out of there before he buys something else now, I don't think we've got pigs anywhere on here. I think pigs have, and horses, you'll have to find room to put them. And we'll probably, with all these fields, you could actually take one of these fields and change that. Now, all planted, uh, all ready to go. Uh, some are planted, some aren't. Some need plowing, some don't. They all need lime. And they all, no, they all, and they all need fertilizer. All, all your fields, so your fields, you're gonna have some work to do on them. Just uh, take that out again. Yeah, all your fields will need lime, and they, they will need plowing. All right, I think that's just it. The rest of it is the same. Everything else is in the same place. Um, so I don't think there's much to say about that. We all know all about the. Uh, that gear, but this is the main change. It's up here on the farm itself. And I like the changes here. I I like the organic look 
to the uh, pens, which you, the placeable system is nice, and you can still use a placeable system, you can still put them down. In fact, if you start on any other mode, you have to. But if you start with the new farmer mode, there we are, all in here. Uh, this my, looks like water. That, this one's water. One of these, I think it's water and one's filled or either, but yeah, they are separate. But, uh, I don't know if any of that's working. I haven't tried it because there should be a gate here. And, then my, and there will be by the time this gets released. Right, I'm going to end this one here. We'll just have a very quick look around the buildings. Oh, there's some more buildings down here you own. I don't know if there's any gear in them. This is very similar. I think we all know this from for every newbie. These fields here and uh, Riverview. But this will be version 3 when it's out. Still got a grand old name up there, newbie farm. And wherever you look, you've got equipment. You can even get a petrol bows or or di diesel bows. I think it's full too. I haven't checked. But there's a lot to do. That's your water tank. Here. There have been a lot of rebottling and working on this. And as I say, this will be available shortly after. I say shortly after, well, it depends on how long it takes to convert everything over after the season's releases. So, without further ado, I will just go over now. We just want to just take a quick screenshot of this. Yeah, you don't normally take a screenshot of the uh, map I'm going to on this. Right, we've got that. Now I'm going to cut here, and when you come back, we'll be in Maypole. All right, welcome to uh, Maypole. Now, this, again, is not the most latest release, or the most up-to-date release. I think several things have been changed. If you want to see the really up-to-date ones, uh, have a look at uh, Roy's own channel. Well, you start here with your... He's doing, been doing a lot of, of testing live with that, and he's got his uh, children involved as well. He's a slave driver, that Roy. And this, this is your house where you start, this is where you uh, land at whenever you log in, until someone brings out the uh, Remember Last Position mod, which I hope we will see. Normally on the standard Maypole, which was on 17, your chickens would be out. I don't know if they're going back there again or not. And there has been a garage just here. Again, I don't know whether that's going... And I can't remember what was there, but your main farm is here. Now, if you played Maypole in 17, you'll recognize this. You go straight through this silo into the farm, which means that this limits you slightly to the size of equipment. Uh, you've got a lime tank here, and you see, you get all your buildings which were in the 17 version. This is your slurry. You've got the same tanks you've got in the river view. I actually like this tank. It looks the part, and I like the work on here with the overhead pipe and the motor drive and the pump. As I, I like this. This is the muck where the muck is stored for the cows. There would be doors on, on here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There will be doors on here when it's released, but uh, at the moment, as I said on the river through part, they're not working. The uh, I don't think the trigger's been released, and this is your main co parlor. You've got a load of equipment. We'll go through that in a moment. Uh, at the uh, at the moment, you don't see how many fields, and they are a little bit out of the way from the main farm. But I think that's because I say I have an early version of this. So don't go by too much on where everything is. But one thing he's brought back on the farm is the BGA. Here we are. The BGA. Nice and shiny. And this is your bunker. Not 
actually working at the moment. And this is your digitate pump. So this is, I'll repeat again for those who find it hard to understand first time. This is not the finished version by a long chalk. This is fairly early on in its development stage. Roy let me have a copy. This is playable, unlike the Riverview, but there's still a lot of bugs with it. Which have been, must have been ironed, I don't know, whenever I drop in and watch one of his videos. I see he's made several changes, and he keeps finding things, and he keeps putting them right. And you've got fertiliser and uh, seed here. Let's have a quick look at what, at the moment you start with, this is, on both of them, it's not going to be the finished article. A couple of tractors, a combine, just the TX32, no starting combine actually. The Strosman trial, which I like. You know, a plow, a cultivator, Amazon cedar, the Kuhn solid fertilizer. Did you get a, a solid fertilizer spreader? Front forks for the John Deere, you didn't like the John Deere. You get your co pasture and your sheep pasture. I both here, and I must just find where the sheep is. I think I missed those somewhere. Large grain silo, but what I think that is, this is a mod, so I've got a feeling that is, yes, what he's done is the, uh, the grain silo, uh, the silo system doesn't look like that. It actually is this bit here, where is it, find it in a minute, here. And I actually like this. I like this when I first saw it on Maple. I didn't like the come through this onto the farm like that, but I like the actual silo system. It looked good. It looked as it, as I'd expect it to look. Now let's just see what else is on here. Now at the moment you're only on uh, 27 and 28 for looks up, but I've got a feeling that the, these rounds here will be owned, but I could be wrong there. This is quite a bit hard. I know this is uh, Roy's favourite of the two maps. This is his personal favourite. I prefer Riverview. Well, then again, I would, wouldn't I? <laughs> I've done a lot of work on Riverview. <laughs> I've played on that, and I already enjoy it. It's got the same thing. It's only a, it's a half-size playable area in a standard-size map area. So when you're playing... You can see all these fields all the way around. And it gives a feeling of depth. Now, what else we got here? Ah, sheep are over here at 37. Look, a nice co pasture over there. And no, I don't think it is. I don't think any of these uh, are working at the moment. They're not in the right place. Because with the BGA now moved from here, it's cool, bit of there. Actually, it looks a bit neater in this corner now, without the uh, BGA standing here. But it's your, all your normal tip points. This is uh, wool and cotton. And yes, you can get the cotton in there. I've done it. It may not look possible, but it is possible. They will go, because that doesn't actually tip that high, the uh, cotton trailers. You can't put them right in, you have to just have the tip in, but that's all you need. There's your bale destroyer bit. Your animals are around the side here. And your tip for just about everything else. Oh, your wood chips are here. Remember, no log sales on the maypole. It's not a logging map. If you do any logging, you have to chip it all. I've got a feeling in the back of my mind on the 17 version. And one of the 17 versions, there was actually a Jen's chipper in here. I might be wrong there. I might be thinking I know a map entirely. But this is where you tip about everything else. So it's a very small map. For even deeper analysis of, or oh, look at it, have a look at Roy's own channel. I will put it in, because uh, he's not a bad lad, you know, really. No matter what we say about him. No, so I'm not going to walk all the way back. Not as far. But that is a quick look at the two. I'm going to come back here and I want to see if... We know the sheep, the sheep pasture is in there somewhere, but we can't see it at the moment. And our sheep have been uh, 
We've got the placeable anyway. Is that a mod that placeable? Let's have a look. No traffic, by the way. Uh, not one of the things that Roy normally puts on. They're both mods. So that is actually the one he's got there. Now, I dare not sell it because I'm not certain if I'll get it back. It's not that it really matters to think about it. But where's the sheep? It's got me, got me cogitating there. What's this up there? Biogas plant. Where is it? It's something behind there, but you can't quite. Lime station, ah. Uh, and that's the farm silo. Oh, well, we'll visit that. Just trying to remember where, because the, the cows were here on the 17. These are the cows. I can't remember where the sheep were. <laughs> I remember on 17 and before, everything had to be predefined. And it's still the case. This is predefined. But I cannot remember where the last of sheep were. Ah, the trouble's not getting any younger. Your, your mind tends to uh, forget things. See what's actually in the store anyway. Just, just, just we'll have a look at the. No, is, is it miscellaneous? Let's have a look under miscellaneous. No. Uh, back. Oh, one minute, the one I want here. Buildings, 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 soils. Oh, yeah, we have got the large grain silo here as a. That's a mod, so that's, that's okay. No, that's a complaint that someone had against uh, obviously David's latest map. But he put all the special bits in, but they were not... Uh, you could, if you sold them, you couldn't get them back. And if you sold them accidentally, that was it. You, you're done with it. And it looks on this, you can. So let's just... Uh, yeah, small... Oh, that's one I've got anyway. That's part of my lot. I haven't got the, either of these are not mine, so I guess it's done the same there. That is, he's, well, it's done different there. He's actually put me in a say, well, what we're doing? Shall we be a devil? Oh, garage. Let's see what happens if we sell the silage system. Yeah, let's sell. Let's see what happens then when we go back here. This is an experiment. I was, it just hit me after watching the test on, the, on that. Now the building's still here. That is still all here. No, it possibly doesn't work now. But then again, because this is early, early days. Right, I'm going to quit there. I'm going to. Take, do the sounds I've done there. I'm going to take a quick picture of the actual map, and that's going to be the screenshots. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like this, all please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber, go on, subscribe. You know, you really want to. I say that every time, and nobody actually does want to. That's just living hopes. I will actually play with some of this at some point. Now I've got them on here. And just see what works and what doesn't. I know a lot, both of them don't work. Cause these are very early on. Anyway, uh, here we get to all yours. If you've got any comments, uh, questions, suggestions, or anything else, please leave them in the comments section under this video. I read everyone and I try and reply to everyone. This one doesn't work. This is oh, mind you, say I had both of these quite a while. I know he's been, Roy's been very, very busy on this, on this one especially. Uh, where do we get to? Oh yes, yeah, so 
I reply to everyone if I can, and I certainly try and acknowledge everyone, and I'd like to thank everybody who takes the time to write to me or comment on my videos. Thank you all very much. And with that, it's me and Santa. Cheerio for now. Cheerio.